Lately, there's been a lot of controversy over the kind of policing that's been going on in certain parts of America. Such policing has led to the death of Michael Brown, Eric Garner, and Sandra Bland. Many feel that the proper justice wasn't served in the matter of their death. This can also be said for Trayvon Martin. Because of the lack of justice for these individuals, there have been riots, vandalism, looting, and destruction. Township communities continue to suffer from these actions, which continue to be motivated by social injustices. My question to you is, are all cops corrupt? In the talk between St. Mays Rec Youth and Sparks program, the students are coordinated with sharing their thoughts and ideas towards today's policing, along with their own experiences with the police. Here's what they had to say. They had posts of previous incidents where there, were, uh, there was a young woman who died in jail while she was in custody because they wouldn't give her medical attention. Um, there was the incidents with the police officers who were killed. Um, this is happening more and more on my newsfeed, on Twitter. You're seeing this occur. And quite frankly, it makes me concerned about people your age, people who look like you, um, male or female. My first reaction, of course, was anger. And then it was, well, what can I do? Today's policing has caused many to question why it's happening. It has also led to protests, riots, and caused many to feel mixed emotion. I feel angry because um, I feel like um, the system, like this system is not meant for us. Like, I will see stuff like this on the news, but I will not pay no mind. And like, my mom was like, I should really start watching the news and take what they say in more consideration because it might help me in my surrounding. I feel upset because we all should be treated equally no matter our skin color. I'm upset, but I'm not surprised because history is bound to repeat itself. And in order for us to like make a change, we gotta learn our history. I feel agitated um, because you know, 1965, Martin Luther King Jr., all the black activists came together to bring change. And um, it's 2016 that we still face the injustices that we face today. I feel disappointed and scared because it determines the pigment of your skin if you're safe as you walk outside or not, that you don't know what's going to happen to you. It can also be said that there are times when the police aren't going about their job in the proper manner. It can also be said that not all encounters with the police lead to some form of abuse or inequality. Four cop units showed up and they stayed there for about two hours patrolling looking for that guy. And they were all white and me being one black girl, whatever the case is, they all stood there and searched for that white man. I'm not sure if they found him. Right now, I mean, I don't even really care. I'm still a little shook to go home. But four cop units, one K-9 unit. So there's no way that everyone could tell me all cops are bad. Because they knew I was black. I mean, I made the call and I told them, I said, look, he's telling me this, he's telling me that, racial slurs. And when the cop showed up, he asked me, he's like, are you okay? He, and what I appreciated about him, he said, aside from everything else, are you okay? And that's, he stood there and he asked, he said, are you okay? Like, he didn't, you know, you're good. I said, I'm fine, you know, I'm a little shook, but I'm okay. And the cop was genuinely worried about me. A lot can be said about this topic in regards to whether the cops are properly executing their roles in the matter of serving and protecting. Our system has a problem, and there are bad cops out there, but that doesn't mean that all cops are bad. We shouldn't criticize and attack all cops for the action of some. Instead, we should work together in efforts to get rid of the corruption in our system. <laughs>